Maggie, I know you like your antique road show, and you might have hidden treasures collecting dust right in your own home. We're joined by Renee Haynes, the appraiser for Antiques Road Show, and she's with us live with a bunch of stuff and people who have brought things in. We're gonna get some appraisals here. But first, good morning. Good morning. You believe a lot of people have stuff in their homes that actually has some value. Most definitely. We see things that come in all the time that people have inherited, or they've picked up at a yard sale, or a church sale, or something like that, and they just want to know what are they worth? Are they worth anything? Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, people really have a very good eye. Yeah. Is there a, an easy way to find out what things are worth? If you spend a little time these days on the internet, I mean, it's an absolute plethora of information. If you type in a few keywords on like google.com, mm -hmm. you can very quickly find all kinds of information and look at Google images yeah. and you may end up finding the exact same thing you Here's already have. Here's the question. Have. If you were going to become a collector, is mm -hmm. it better to go for a few good things or buy a bunch of stuff and hope you get lucky? Mm, quality versus quantity. Yeah. And also condition. Condition plays a huge role in what the value of something can be. All right, well, we've got some stuff here. We have some collectors, Bill Carney and Harvey. Schneider. Exactly right. <laughs> okay, now what do you guys do? You guys are in this business, right? Right, and we, we collect. All right, and what, basically what kind of stuff do you collect? Uh, modernist glass and pottery. All right, so it's very cool looking stuff right Absolutely. here. What's the thing you're most curious about? The small vase in the front. The small little vase in the front. Just by looking at that, can you determine its origin? You know, I can, and I can understand why you would have purchased this piece, because it looks very similar to the other things that you collect. Right. However, instead of being a 40s or a 50s piece, this is actually made in 1890. So a little bit earlier than what you thought it might right. be. Look at, the, look at this, is just like Andy <laughs> Roach. Whoa, dude. Okay, go ahead. This is by a French ceramicist, and his name is Jean Courier. He can be found, his, his pottery can be found in the Met, in the Getty Museum, also in the Fine Arts Museum of San Francisco. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. Unbelievable. Okay, pay off. All right, may I tell you, can you tell me what you paid for it? We paid $125, but we got two other pieces with it. Oh, well, so oh, less okay. than $125. And? I would tell you if this came up for auction, the estimate would easily be three to $4,000. <gasps> <gasps> very good. That's oh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good Thank you. Wow, way to go. Thank Good. you. Excellent. Thank Excellent. You. Our next guest here, David Parkinson, who is married to our wonderful producer, Carol Story. What's this stuff? Uh, the two pictures are uh, from Carol's grandmother, mm -hmm. and the lamp was uh, left to me by one of my mother's friends. All right, very quickly. We have very little time. Czechoslovakian and peasant pottery, 1920s, 1930s. The mm -hmm. pieces are worth 50 to $75 mm -hmm. a piece. What about this thing? Though? This, on the other hand, is actually right here where it came from. This is a what we call a counterbalance um, lamp base by Tiffany Studios. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure a lot of you know the name Tiffany. Yeah, yeah. Um, the shade, however, is replacement. So it probably got damaged at one point in time. And it also had an original turn switch. It's been electrified. Mm. Okay. But even with all of that said, on today's market, the base by itself, two to two thousand to $2,500. Dude! <laughs> Very nice. The last but not least, Jim McEwen, let's pick out one of these pieces. That's this one right here. This was um, made in New Haven, Connecticut, which I think you saw from the label on the inside of it. That's what made us The condition it. on this one is a little bit rough mm -hmm. because of its age, but I would tell you that if it came up for auction, $100 to $200. So I still got to go back to work. Then. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so, so much. Renee Haynes, thank you, everybody. Big news for you guys.